your heart songs. All right. I'm going to start in the right second intercostal space, which is the aortic area. I'm going to move over to the pulmonic, which is the second intercostal space on the left side. And this is where S2 is heard the loudest. Move down to herbs point, which is in the third intercostal space. And this is where S2 and S1 are heard equally loudest. Right. Move down to the fifth intercostal space, which is the um, tricuspid area. And then to the mitral area, where S1 is heard the loudest. And then this is where I would hold and for, listen for 60 seconds for the apical pulse. Right? Then I would change my stethoscope to the bell, and I would move back up in the same direction that I had down. Um, let's check different regions of the heart. So... I'm gonna go to the second uh, intercostal right here. This is the aortic region uh, right of the sternal border. Uh, same on this side, two down, intercostal space, left of the sternal border. This is a pulmonic region. This is the aortic region. All right, and then third down. This is herbs point where you can hear murmurs. Right. And then fourth intercostal down is uh, these are all left of the sternal border. And this is the um, tricuspid uh, region. And then fifth is uh, maclavicular, and this is considered um, the mitral region. Okay. All right, so I heard S1 and S2 noises. Um, um, the cardiac exam, we'd like to start off with an inspection. So we're looking for symmetry, contour, uh, you're looking at the skin, looking for lesions. Uh, so obviously my patient doesn't seem to have any lesions or uh, any abnormalities. Uh, and so uh, then we're gonna be starting off with um, uh, auscultating immediately. And uh, so we're gonna use the uh, all people eat turkey meats <laughs> system. So we're gonna start off from the top left here in the inner midclavicular mid line. Hold on. Okay. And you wanna listen long enough in order to hear any murmurs. And that's where we're using a diaphragm side. And finally, mitral. And while I'm here at the mitral, I'm going to also be listening to the carotid artery. I mean, I'm going to be uh, palpating the carotid artery at the same time. Also doing the same with the radial artery, the radial pulse. You can just relax your hand. Okay. Now I do the same thing with the bell side. In the same places.
that is also very good. Um, I'm going to be assessing your heart sounds again, so you can put your feet back down on the floor. Now, when I do this assessment, I may stop in a particular spot, but don't get alarmed because I'm just going to be taking your apical heart rate. So in the process of doing that, please do not speak or anything. Again, I'm going to be going in just a little bit, okay? Okay, and I'm going to ask you to lift up on your left side of your breast. Thank you. So since I'm able to hear it a little better at Herb's point in the middle, I'm going to be doing my uh, apical pulse up there, okay? So your apical rate was about 75 and it was rhythmic. Uh, S1 and S2 was heard in all five spots. Uh, it was just easier to hear at first point, so I used that for my apical rate. So yes, 74, which is good, it's within range. So that is um, perfect. Uh, so now I'm going to start a diagram and then I'll use the sound. Uh, Pulse there, so I'm going to do the same thing, but with the uh, sound. Uh, so and then notice when it's S3 or S4, when you hear just like these points. Uh, 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 We can move on from there to the cardiovascular system, which again is on the chest. Uh, again, I start by inspecting. Uh, I'm looking for any heaves, um, and uh, I can move on to palpating, and I'm gonna palpate the valvular areas. So I'm gonna start with the pulmonic valve, and you can, uh, feel down to the intercostal space and then um, sorry, and then move over from there to the uh, pulmonic 
down to herbs point, which should be the third intercostal space. So you do the second intercostal, second, down to third. Um, fourth would be the, um, uh, the uh, tricuspid. And then over, you're gonna go over to, uh, from the fourth to the fifth, and you're gonna go midclavicular, and that's where you'll feel the uh, tricuspid area, which is the PMI, the point of maximum impulse. And you should be able to feel palpate there for the uh, pulse. And you can palpate and auscultate and get a uh, pulse rate there by listening for 30 seconds and multiplying it by two. Um, and again, I'm going to uh, auscultate in that same pattern, listening to those uh, valvular areas. Okay, now we're going to listen to your heart sounds, so just breathe normal. Your heart sounds sound good. Your apical pulse is normal and regular. Okay. We have no bruises or no murmurs that I can hear right now. Okay. Can you go ahead and. Uh... Okay. Lay on down for me. Get a little personal. Got a nice, good heart rhythm. No problems at all. See any heaves, I don't see any thrills. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the heart and I'm gonna have the bed at 25 to 30 degrees. And the first thing I'm looking at is the precordium. Um, there's no visible heave, lift, or thrill. Um, I'm then going to palpate the apical pulse which is at the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular. I'm then going to auscultate the apical pulse for one full minute, and that is with the uh, the diaphragm of the stethoscope. And it is even, and there's no adventitious sounds as well. I'm now going to listen to the heart um, in a Z pattern. Um, and there are five locations. And it's going to start with the diaphragm. And they are aortic, pulmonic, there's herbs. And then tricuspid and mitral. I'm then going to switch to the tail of the stethoscope and listen mitral, 
tricuspid, tricuspid, herbs point, pulmonic, aortic. And there are no adventitious heart sounds or murmurs present. All right.